Corona has a cryogenic laboratory that has been used to store the same strain of yeast since 1926. It is stored in liquid nitrogen. Corona beer is one of the most famous beers in the world. It is part of the Modelo group. It is distributed in more than 170 countries around the world. Corona has been brewed in Mexico since 1925 and became the best-selling beer in the country just 10 years later. Mexico sports more beer than any other country. All thanks to a small slice of fruit. The long, transparent and neck of Corona bottle was perfect for the lime wedged. The Modelo Group factory in Zacatecas produces a bottle of the Mexico's national icons, Corona beer. In 1987, the Modelo Group launched the ambitious Zacatecas project to meet all needs. With this gigantic factory, it is able to produce more beer than its competition. Everything has been designed to maximize production. The company claims it can produce 2.4 billion liters of beer a year. Beer is the most popular alcoholic beverage in the world. Made naturally, it is made and served in most countries around the world. Whether you enjoy it in a bottle or a cold pitcher, beer is the most consumed alcoholic beverage in the world. Almost 16 billion liters are produced worldwide each year. The amazing thing about this popular drink is that a series of complex biochemical reactions must occur for it to exist. This gigantic industry is full of innovation and creativity. Beer is a sweet malt liquid, fermented and flavored with hops. Most beers are essentially composed of four ingredients. Barley, hops, yeast, and water. This factory in Zacatecas produces 20 billion bottles of beer a day. It all starts with malt, and it comes from barley. Zacatecas is in the center of Mexico's barley growing region. The position of the beer factory means that it can be supplied with barley growers from all over Mexico. When the barley arrives, the truck load is measured and analyzed in the barley tasting area. Robotic grain samples are used to ensure grain quality. They are useful for detecting if farmers are hiding low-quality barley at the bottom of the truck. If they do not meet the quality standards, the entire shipment is destined for feed. Quality is so important that the factory has its own scientists to analyze the grain in its laboratory. The embryo is detected where the enzymes are stored. This process indicates that the grain is alive and can be malted. To produce 20 million bottles of beer, 165 tons of barley are needed daily. The first treatment of the day passes the test. The barley can now be unloaded and the process can begin to transform it into malt. To do this, they have designed a system to ensure that not a single grain is wasted. During the barley harvest, the factory receives about 2,000 tons daily, almost 30 trucks every 24 hours. The barley passes through giant filters and enters the huge grain silos. Each silo has 4,000 cubic meters. They contain vital reserves of barley that guarantee that the beer can still be made, even if the harvest fails. Inside the tank, the master motor is about to start the work of converting the first delivery of barley of the day into malt. The first step in the production is to transform the barley. It is known as malting. Large steel tanks are filled with small grains of barley that are soaked in water, allowing the grains to sprout and regain the moisture they had before being harvested. It is left to soak for a day and a half to bring the seeds to life. This makes the grain soft and gives it that classic malty flavor. Water is another reason why the factory is in Zacatecas. Some people believe that water is more important than barley. The factory has eight wells that extracts high-quality water right under the facilities. Each well is between 150 and 500 meters deep, an aquifer full of water that has been filtering for cycles. In Mexico, water is scarce, but the Zacatecas factory boasts of being one of the least waters consuming in the world. It uses around 1.2 liters of water per beer bottle. After being soaked in water for 36 hours, the barley has already come to life. 
A conveyor belt takes the soaked barley to the germination tank, where it will spend the next four days. The climate control of the tanks is strictly controlled and the grain is turned by a mechanism so that it is exposed to heat and humidity for the correct amount of time. The grain is ready to be sent to the drying process, thus completing the germination process. After absorbing a large amount of water during germination, the malt, which now weighs about 400 tons, is transported to a giant oven for the drying process, known as rusting. Rusting removes the moisture contained in the malt and reduces its weight. It is dried for a day and a half and finally, the malt is ready. The malt travels 600 meters on a conveyor belt and can start distilling. The malt is mixed in huge macerators with more water to obtain a substance called wood. The main function is to transform all the starches that the raw material has into sugar. This sugar in solution is known as wood. This will define the final characteristics of the beer. The enzymes in the malt break down the available starch and produce fermentable sugar. To transform the starch into sugar, the mixture is heated for 90 minutes. Then, a critical test is performed to make sure that all the starch was transformed into sugars. For this, iodine is added to the sample. When it does not change color, it means that all the starches were transformed into sugar. In a few seconds, more than 140,000 liters of wood are pumped into the next tank to remove the grain from the mixture, which is called filtration. This mixture is placed in a container called a filtration bud. In the boiling phase, the wood is boiled with hopes to provide the bitter taste and unique aroma of Corona beer. The boiling lasts about 90 minutes. It's cooled and then the yeast is added to start the fermentation stage. Yeast allows all the flavor of the beer to reach its maximum point, while converting the remaining sugars into carbon dioxide and alcohol, giving the beer its effervescence and alcoholic content. Corona has a cardiogenic laboratory that is used to store the same yeast strain since 1926. It is stored in liquid nitrogen. The wort is transformed into beer. Each fermentation tank has a capacity equivalent to 4.5 million bottles of Corona. Fermentation lasts three weeks. In the next phase, the beer is inspected to see if it's ready. In the filling machine, 18 bottles are loaded per second. Each bottle is filled with Corona beer in less than one second. Finally, it is packed and distributed around the world. Zacatecas also has its own train station to transport the rest of the beer to the international market. Remember to like the video if you like it and share it with someone else who might be interested. Also, you can subscribe to this channel by activating the notification to keep learning. Greetings!